Today we play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, but all Pokemon are random. All wild battles are random Pokemon, all trainers have had their Pokemon randomized, so we never know who we are going to see in a battle. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's see what kind of wild Pokemon we can find at the start of the game here in Route 201. Oh my goodness! A Charmander! A wild Charmander! That's so cool. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, okay. Let's use a pound on it. And you know what? I'm scared to defeat it. Let's try using a Pokeball on it. Let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we got it! We got it, we got it, we got it. We got the wild Charmander! Okay, so Dawn is supposed to show us how to catch a wild Pokemon. Okay, and it is a Badoof. I was wondering if maybe a different Pokemon would appear for this cutscene. Whoa! Dawn's got a Mewtwo! Dawn has a Mewtwo! Um, I hope we don't have to battle Dawn any- Wait, uses laser focus? What does that attack do? Let's see. Concentrated intensely. Badoof used Growl! Oh, man! This battle's very different from what I expected. Okay, HP is down. It's ready for- actually, it's HP isn't down. It still has full HP. I don't know what you're talking about, Dawn. Oh, you can see into Dawn's back. Wow, she's got a lot of Pokeballs. It's funny that she has a level 5 Mewtwo. Wow, I think Dawn might have gotten the best starter Pokemon of all here. I got a Piplup, my rival got a Turtwig, and Dawn got a Mewtwo. Man, Professor Rowan really has a favorite trainer over here. Oh, and Dawn just catches the Bidoof with full HP. See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. I know you didn't lower your target's HP at all, actually. I am ready for our battle against the first trainer in the game. Let's go. You're a Pokemon trainer. I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met, so battle we must. All right, let's see what kind of Pokemon this guy's gonna have. Please don't be a Mewtwo or something crazy. Let's see. What does Youngster Tristan have? What is your one Pokemon? Let's see. Glammeow. Okay, so what? Is this guy Team Galactic, basically? Team Galactic, I remember them having just so many Glammeows. I think Water Gun will be a good choice against it. I don't expect this to be a very difficult fight. Okay, almost took it out in one hit. That's pretty good. He uses Tackle. That does almost nothing on us. Oh, and it knows Quick Attack, too. That's like, he just wants to deal some more damage. Ah, uh, poor youngster Tristan. Yeah, we were able to take him out pretty easily over there. All right, last Natalie, what do you have? Here's the next trainer that we have to do. I'm Nido Queen. Okay, 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 okay. This might be a little tough. Nido Queen is a ground poison type, I believe. But I'm facing off against it. Oh wait, the Nido Queen is only a level three though. That's kind of funny. I wonder how good its stats will be. All right, we took out the Nido Queen easily. One hit of the Nido Queen's out of here with a water gun. It's super effective. Very nice. And we get the same type bonus. Campfire crew to level seven. How to use Mammoth Swine? Wait a minute! Hold on, let's use Campfire over here. Wanna use Campfire in a fight? Mammoth Swine? That's the evolved form of Pillow Swine, I think, right? And I think it's a Ground Ice type, so Ember might be okay on it. Let's try using Ember here. Alright! Alright, alright! Even though this lady's got these big Pokemon here, we're still able to take her out pretty easily. I wonder what my rival's going to have in the rival fights. All right, it is now time to battle our rival. Let's see what he's got. Hey, ZX Mini, tell me you got a little tougher. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. All right, let's see what this guy's got. What Pokemon does he have? Normally he sends out a Starly to start, so let's see what he has now. Reggie Rock! Great, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, that might be tough. But you know what? And it's level 7, but you know what? Water should be super effective against it, so let's see how we do. It knows Quick Attack! Okay, that doesn't hit too hard. Okay, how's Water Gun? Will it take it out in one turn, or no? It's got good special defense. Don't get cocky, kid! This isn't over yet! Alright, 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 let's see. Oh, it uses Quick Attack again. Okay, we should survive that, right? Yeah, we survived. Okay. Now, will this finish it off? Very nice! Alright, we finished off his Reggie Rock. Now, who is his next Pokemon going to be? Let's see. About to use Marie. Oh, you know what? That's actually not bad. That's not bad. I'm glad that his second Pokemon isn't as scary. His first Pokemon is a legendary Pokemon, and then his second Pokemon is just a little electric sheep over here from Gen 2. 
What a sweet little sheep over there. Wait a minute, what happened to his turt wig? I remember he was talking about how he got a turt wig before. All right, well, let's just use Ember there. Oh, that does much less damage than I thought it would. It'll probably take, oh, nice, and it got burned. I was about to say it'll probably take two more Embers, but now we can probably take it out with a single Ember attack. We just need one more Ember attack, and then it'll probably either faint from the attack. My Pokemon's HP is low. This could be a bit tight. It'll either faint from this attack or from the damage from the burn. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Very nice. What happened? I lost? Yeah, we took you out, bro. What? What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. The first thing I'm gonna do? Okay, he's gonna go take on the first gym leader. Let's see what kind of wild Pokemon we can run into here. Oh, that's pretty nice, a Furret. That's a pretty cool choice. Let's see, any other interesting Pokemon here? What else can we run into here? Oh, that's such a cool choice, a Dusclops! Okay, 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 okay. You know what? Do I want to catch the Dusclops? Man, that's so cool, running into one of these so early in the game. Let's see, will Water Gun defeat it? Hopefully not. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, let's try to capture it. I want to see how Dusclops' stats are overall. I wonder if Dusclops would be a good Pokemon to have on our team. And we got the Dusclops, very nice. Ghosty has been added to our party. I think Ghosty might be someone good to have in our party for now. All right, we're now in this cave. Okay, we've got a wild battle in this cave. I didn't expect to run into a gold deed in the middle of a cave. Is there even any water in this cave? What is this gold deed doing here? All right, we are at the first gym, ready to take out the first gym leader. Let's see what kind of Pokemon this gym leader will have. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm the one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. Let's see if he's lying to our face or not. I wonder if he's actually going to be using Rock-type Pokemon or if he's going to be using something else. Let's see. What type of Pokemon are you using? Let's see, he's got three Pokemon. Doduo! That's not a Rock-type. <laughs> That's a normal flying type. I can understand why he would think that he uses rock type Pokemon when he actually has a Doduo, which is a normal flying type Pokemon. Hey, Water Gun was pretty powerful there. Hey, Doduo uses Rollout. That does some damage there. That's not bad. Does five damage on us. And our Water Gun takes out the Doduo. Very nice. We're, our trainer is probably like, wait a minute. This guy is supposed to be using rock type Pokemon. Why are our attacks not super effective here? Okay, let's send out Ghosty over here against his Whalmer. This guy has so many Rock-type Pokemon! But you know what? Oh, it's actually kind of funny that he did use that Pointed Stones attack. Okay, Confuse Ray? Confuse Ray or Shadow Sneak? That's actually a tough choice. I'll use Confuse Ray. Nice, Rock Attack miss, or Rock Throw miss. Confuse Ray lands, which is very nice. Hopefully it'll start to hurt itself in confusion now. That would be nice. Whalmer is such a great Pokemon, along with Whalelord, the evolved form. I remember having that in Gen 3. And the evolved form of this person, Whalelord, is a humongous Pokemon. And it's also got a lot of HP. Yeah, Whalmer is just such a nice Pokemon. I like both Whalmer and Whalelord a lot. All right, let's do some Shadow Sneaks over here, doing some not bad damage. If it keeps hurting itself in confusion, that'll be great. This is amazing. This is going amazingly. Hopefully he doesn't heal his Pokemon. Let's see. Ah, he is the potion. No. No, how could you do this? Oh, that didn't heal as much HP as I thought it would. I guess this is a Pokemon with a lot of total HP. Okay, let's use another Shadow Sneak here. Let's see, healing some damage there. Is it confused? Please hurt yourself in confusion, please. Please. And does it defeat itself? Yes, it defeated itself by attacking in confusion. Let's go. It attacked itself in confusion. Very nice. About to use Glalie. Okay, I know who Glalie is. Glalie is a fantastic Gen 3 Pokemon. I even remember going into the cave in Gen 3 and collecting that Glalie over there. So since it's an think you can take down the next Pokemon like you did the others, I do, in fact. Yeah, so it's an ice type. I don't know if it's ice or ice dark. 
But yeah, I remember in Gen 3 going into the cave and catching that Pokemon, so Fire should be super effective against it. Okay, it uses Leer. So that's a little scary. Our defense goes down. Hopefully it doesn't know, like, Headbutt or Rollout or something like that, because that could deal a lot of damage. And it could even make us flinch, since he's using a lot of the- Oh, Bulldoze! What type is that? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, because we're dead. It's super effective. Okay, I'm guessing that's probably a rock type or a ground type move. Who do I send out next against that? I guess Ghosty. Let's send out Ghosty. Let's go, Ghosty! Oh, and we take some damage from that. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it might be faster, too. Let's see. Let's use a Confuse right here. Don't bulldoze me. Okay, good. It uses Leer. Uh, well, actually, I guess that's not very good because our defense goes down. So... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's use a Confuse right here. All right, it is Confused, that is very nice. Hopefully it attacks itself in Confusion and we get some free hits now. Let's try using Shadow Sneak, because that'll let us attack first. We can deal some damage onto it. Not much, hopefully it hurts itself in Confusion with it. Let's see, it's Confused. It used Leer again. So we have had our defense dropped twice now. You know what? I'm kind of tempted to just switch. No way! Not yet! Not giving up! If I switch, then my lower defense gets reset. Now, you know what? I'll keep fighting. I'll keep fighting. Let's use a Shadow Sneak here. We probably won't be able to defeat it with this Pokemon. It might come down to our Piplup. It might come down to our Club Penguin. Yes! It hurt itself in confusion. Okay, okay, okay. This might actually work out better than expected. Will he heal? Ah, of course he uses a potion! Of course, he uses a potion there. That heals up quite a bit of HP. I don't know if it's still going to be confused or if it's going to snap out of confusion. Let's see, let's use another Shadow Sneak here. I like that Shadow Sneak is like quick attack, but a ghost type move. That's really useful for us. Let's see, it's confused. Ah, uh, used Leer again. We've had three Leers used on us. I'm very, very tempted to switch Pokemon now. You know what? Ah, oh, man, this is such a tough choice. You know what, let's switch. I'm going to switch. Even though this is a very tough choice to make, I've got to switch over here. Let's see what it does. Will it use bo- Oh, and I forgot about the stones. Uh-oh. Oh, it's still confused. That's good. Please hurt yourself in confusion. Nice! It hurt itself in confusion. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But this is a pretty scary matchup. Our Piplup against this scary ice thing. Who's faster? It snapped out of confusion. It used headbutt. How much does that do? Not much. I flinched. That's not good. Please let me pound. It used headbutt again. I'm low HP. I get to use pound. It survives. It survives. It survives. Okay, but even if Club Penguin faints here, he's probably... Yeah, he's using headbutt. That definitely takes out this Club Penguin. But a Shadow Sneak should be able to take this guy out. We should be able to take this guy out with a Shadow Sneak over here. Let's see. Let's see. All right, all right. The pointed stones dig into us, so we take a bit of damage. But Shadow Sneak should go first. He doesn't heal. This is amazing. That means that we're going to win. There we go. All right. We took out this rock gym leader. He had a pretty tough team over here. Gotta admit, he did have a pretty tough team. What? That can't be. My buffed up Pokemon. All right, let's head up here. We've got to face off against Team Galactic here. Ah, ZX Mini, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. ZX Mini, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. I am glad that Don is on our team because Don has a Mewtwo. Dawn has a Mewtwo. Let's not forget that, everybody. Hopefully, she's still sending out her Mewtwo. Let's see. Who are you sending out, Dawn? Wait, Frost? Wait, Frostlass? Oh my goodness, Frostlass and Chimchar. Okay, Mewtwo and a Piplup. We've got a pretty funny matchup over here. Okay, so I'll use Water Gun on the one that I'm super effective against. Let's see what the Mewtwo does. Oh! 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 Mewtwo made a good choice over there. Frostlass uses Absorb. It's super effective, but that did almost no damage. Let's see, what are we going to do here? We use Water Gun. How powerful will that be? Get out of there! I'm even better than the Mewtwo. I took out the Chimchar in a single hit. Alright. 
Do they have another Pokemon? Oh, they don't. Okay. I guess I'll just use Pound on the Frost Slash then. Oh, Mewtwo used Ember. Okay, okay. And that should finish it off. All right, Dawn has such a powerful Pokemon. I'm so glad that Dawn is our friend. Okay, let's battle someone here. Let's see what kind of Pokemon you have. A weak looking trainer, huh? Well, let's see what kind of Pokemon you have if we are a weak looking trainer. Huh, what do you have, Last Sarah, huh? What do you have? Soul Rock. Oh, that's actually kind of strong. Is that a rock psychic type or what type is Soul Rock? I remember that from Gen 3. And hold on, isn't there also a moon version of that? Let's see how Water Gun does against it. We use Water Gun. Okay, we took out your Pokemon in a single hit! Who's the weak looking trainer now, Last Sarah? Oh, I shouldn't have battled in the first place. What you shouldn't have done is started something. Don't want none, don't start some. As the expression goes. Let's see what kind of wild Pokemon we have on this route. Oh my goodness, I actually can't believe it. It's like we're playing Pokemon Snap, a wild Meganium. All right, all right, all right. You know what, sure, I'll take one of those. Why not have a grass type? And a strong grass type at that. Uh, I'm scared that Pound might defeat it though. Let's see, how strong is Pound? Pound has 40 power. Water Gun has 40 power, but we have same type bonus, but not very effective. So I think Water Gun would end up being weaker than Pound. Let's see. Okay, good, good, good. Good, that worked out very, very nice. Oh, Poison Powder, it knows Poison Powder. That's actually good. It's not good right now in this battle, but if we ever want to apply a status effect to another Pokemon, then that's pretty good. All right, all right. This Pokemon shouldn't be possible to catch at level four, because I don't think it reaches this evolved form until level 30 something. So it's kind of funny that we're seeing these low level evolved Pokemon like this, but there we go. There we go, very nice to have a grass type Pokemon join our team and the evolved form of a Gen 2 starter Pokemon. Would you like to give Meganium a nickname? Yes. We'll give Meganium this nickname. Leave a comment if you know what game this is a reference to. What other kind of Pokemon can we run into here? Let's see, can we find anything else? Oh man! Oh man, how is something like this hiding in the grass? That's actually kind of funny, okay? But you know what? We've already got a good grass type, so I don't want this one. Going to leave Tangrowth. The evolved form of Tangela. Tangela is a pretty cool Pokemon. I remember where to catch it in Gen 1. In Gen 1, it's like just south of Pallet Town, but you have to surf to go around and get it. But yeah, pretty funny that you could just run into a wild Tangrowth like this. But the funny thing is, even though Tangela has been around since Gen 1, I don't think Tangrowth has existed until Gen 4. Okay, we got an encounter in the cave here. Oh, yes, 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 baby, let's go. Let's go. I can't believe it. I'm so glad we got this encounter. It's so funny that that's a level five, though. Oh, man, I want that so badly. Let's use Peck. Hopefully we don't kill it. It's funny, I'm treating it like it's a rare Pokemon, but I think we could probably just run into another one of these over here. Okay, let's use Pound. Oh, man, we are going to have a good team over here. Let's see, it uses Sand Tomb. This is fine, this is fine. And let's do this, let's see. Wait, can I swap Pokemon still or no? Oh, I can't switch now. I would have loved to use Poison Powder on it to have a better shot at catching it. But you know what, let's try this then. Let's see. Come on, Garage up. What? I don't even know what type it is. I think it's Dragon something. Dragon Ground, maybe? And beautiful. All right, I can't believe we already have Garchomp on our team. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. I'm so glad that we caught a Garchomp already. Garchomp's data will be added to the Pokedex. When it folds up its body and extends its wings, it looks like a jet plane. It flies at sonic speed. Okay, it's a Dragon Ground type. That's a pretty good type combination. I like this. Let's go! Chompy has been added to our party. Okay, we've got another wild encounter. What could it be? A Nidoking? Are you serious? Are you serious? That's also another incredible choice. So I accidentally defeated this wild Nido King, but then we did run into some other Pokemon. We ran into a Vulpix, but then eventually I did end up catching the wild Nido King, but my audio wasn't working correctly, so that's why I'm saying this now.
A little while later, we ran into a trainer. I thought that this was just some random unsuspecting trainer that we could just take out easily, but this trainer started with the Typhlosion, which we were able to take out because it wasn't a super high level, and then it said that the next Pokemon that this trainer is sending out, that this Aroma Lady is sending out, is Deoxys. And I thought, what? They're sending out a Deoxys? So I sent out my ghost Pokemon, and we were able to take it out luckily because we're a much higher level, and because we had the, basically the ghost version of Quick Attack, and we were able to take it out. Now, we are at Eterna Forest, Let's help out Cheryl. Let's see what- I'm really curious to see what Pokemon Cheryl has. Because Dawn has a Mewtwo! And it's great to fight alongside Dawn. So let's see what Pokemon Cheryl has, because Cheryl is going to come along with us, heal our Pokemon, and let's see what kind of trainers we run into. And what kind of wild Pokemon. I would love a Snorlax. A Snorlax would be perfect. Whoa! That's such a cool double battle! Oh my goodness! Oh, she's got a Marowak now! That's very funny. Normally she has a Blissey. Let's see what wild battle will we have here. A Charizard! A Charizard! You know what? We've got Charmeleon already, and our Charmeleon's going to evolve into a Charizard soon. So I don't know if I even want to catch it. You know what? I would catch the Charizard, but we already have our Charmeleon, and it's already going to grow into that, so it's alright. Pretty funny to see a wild Charizard, though. Alright. Here is the gym leader, Gardenia. Oh, I kept wanting to say Erica because Erica's the grass type gym leader from Gen 1. Okay, so let's face off Gardenia. Is she actually going to have grass type Pokemon? Or is she going to have different types of Pokemon? Let's see. Wailord! Okay, she's starting off with a water type. She just says that she has grass type Pokemon to trick people. It's funny, that Pokemon kind of looks like a blimp. I sent out a fire type Pokemon because everyone thinks that she has grass type Pokemon. So, she expects that people will bring Fire-type Pokémon to the gym, but instead she uses a Water-type to be super effective against them. So you know what? I think that Gardenia is the imposter. She is the imposter. She has fooled everybody. Alright, not bad. Super effective. Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> it's like the Whale Lord is smiling and it has these shiny teeth. And that's what damages us. Alright, what else is she going to have? Goodbye, hot air balloon blimp Pokemon. Who's next? Shelder! You know what? She actually is the imposter. She says that she wants to use grass type Pokemon so that people bring fire types. But what does she do? She uses water type Pokemon! She's so smart, that's an actual 600 IQ play. Okay, the teams reflect war off, so now hopefully we can finish it off with a razor lead. And there we go. Goodbye, Shelder. I guess this is the closest Pokemon that she has to a grass type. It's not the end yet. Okay, yeah, we know. You have your last Pokemon, Furret. Furret's kind of the closest to a grass type. It's a normal type, but the reason that I say that it's kind of the closest is because it's a Pokemon that you could kind of expect to see in a forest. Let's see how good Fire Fang is. Oh, that did much less than I thought it would. Oh boy, it used Stun Spore on me, so now I'm paralyzed. Hopefully I get to use Dragon Breath on it and paralyze it. Let's see. Let's see. We use Dragon Breath. Is it paralyzed? Ah, it eats a berry. Okay. It uses a Citrus Berry. Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? Yeah, I think I can take you out in one more hit, actually. If I'm not paralyzed. As long as I can attack, I think I will take out your fur. Let's see. Let's see, can we do it? Can we do it? No, it's so close! It's so close! And we didn't even paralyze it. Uh, at least she doesn't heal her Pokemon. And I'm paralyzed, I can't move! It uses another Petal Blizzard. Got our HP down to more than half. Are we paralyzed? No, we get to attack. And now... Our Charmeleon takes out the Furret. So leader Gardenia has been defeated. I keep wanting to say Erica. I'm so used to saying Erica. Wait! Wait, wait, wait! What the? What? What is this? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? One of my favorite Pokemon of all time! And we just ran into it in a wild encounter! No way! 
no way. There's absolutely no way. Have some pretty epic music playing for the Groudon battle here. Let's see if we can get this guy. And, and, and we caught him. I actually couldn't believe it. We were just walking through this cave. And suddenly that just happened. When I was a kid, I always misread this as ground on, so we're going to name him ground on. What the? A wild dragonite? This is absolutely ridiculous. That is such a powerful Pokemon. Okay, we're definitely going to capture this guy. I definitely want a wild dragonite because its stats are unreal. Dragonite just has absolutely unreal stats. I'm curious to see what kind of wild Pokemon we might run into here. Oh! The evolved form of Bidoof! It's, you know what? It's so funny that we haven't run into a Bidoof yet. Let's see, I'm curious to see if we might run into something else. A little Pichu! That's adorable! Aw, oh, what a cute little Pichu. You know, I will try to catch it. I don't think we're going to use it because we don't need a Pichu or a Pikachu or a Raichu. But I'll catch it just because Pichu is adorable. Pichu is a great Pokemon. The electric sacks on its cheeks are still small. They cannot store much electricity yet. Ah! I am actually loving our team. If we could evolve our Dusclops, or if we could find the evolved form of Dusclops, I would be super happy. One of the only things, if I could replace someone with someone, um. Maybe I would replace Dusclops with either the evolved form of Dusclops or Mewtwo. If we got a Mewtwo, for sure Mewtwo would be taking the place of Ghosty. If we got Rayquaza, then Rayquaza would probably replace Dragon Rook. And if we got a Snorlax, then I think that I would replace Campfire with Snorlax because we've already got Groundon and Groundon has some pretty good moves. Groundon knows Fire, knows Flamethrower now. All right, here's the next gym leader, Maylene. Normally she uses fighting type Pokemon, so I'm really curious to see what type of Pokemon she's going to use in the battle. Let's see, she's got three Pokemon, what will they be? Dunsparce, oh, that's a gen two Pokemon. I don't even remember what type this is. Okay, Dunsparce is a normal type Pokemon, and we've got some pretty nice moves here with our ground on. Now, do I use Flamethrower because Sunny Day is active? Or do I use Earthquake for the same type bonus? I think I might go for a Flamethrower here. Alright, Groudon is incredible. I love this Pokemon so much. Okay, we don't even take it out in a single hit. Oh, it uses Light Screen? Boosts special defense? You know what? I'm going to start using physical moves then. Oh, she switched Pokemon. Who's she going to switch to? Growlithe! Growlithe is getting destroyed. I'm so sorry, but your Growlithe is absolutely getting destroyed by Earthquake. I'm so sorry, that's super effective, plus same type bonus, plus I'm so stronger than you. I'm sorry, Growlithe. That was not a good switch. Switching into that Pokemon was not good. About to use Dunsparce again. Okay, send the Dunsparce back out, come on. Send the Dunsparce back out, I'll happily take it out with an Earthquake. Oh, she uses a Hyper Potion, interesting. Okay, we've got some interesting strategy here from the gym leader. Let's see how this Earthquake does. Takes it out in one hit or no? Ah, Dunsparce, you're out of there, you're out of there. I should have used Earthquake from the beginning instead of using a Flamethrower. All right, who's our final Pokemon? Crobat! And you know what? I could still keep out this Pokemon. Oh, but this isn't the end, my friend! Because the cool thing about this Groundon is that my Groundon now knows... Thunderbolt! Let's see how good... Oh wait, but Light Screen is still active, so that won't be super powerful. Yeah, that's not powerful at all. Did Light Screen wear off yet? No, Light Screen's still here. You know what, I might switch then. Let's give Dragon Rook a try. Let's swap out to Dragon Rook and let's see how this goes. Because we know both Thunderbolt and Ice Beam now. And those might come in handy. Okay, it uses Screech. Oh no, my defense harshly fell. Whatever will I do? Oh, I actually don't know who's faster, if it's me or Crobat. Oh, but this is so cool. We're in a... Wait a minute, isn't what we're doing illegal? This is supposed to be a fighting type gym, but we both got flying types here. All right, let's see how powerful will Thunderbolt be? Oh, that's not much damage at all. Is Light Screen going to wear off yet? Oh, but we paralyzed it, very, very nice. Very, very nice. I am in a bit of a bind, aren't I? Yes, you really are. All right, let's use an Ice Beam now. Let's see how this attack looks, just to use a different move. Bam, and how's that? 
It just survives. It hangs on by the skin of its teeth. Oh, that was a powerful hit. Well, unless she uses a potion, this should finish it off. Oh, she doesn't heal up. Okay, so we win. We beat the gym leader. Let's go. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. I'm really, really, really loving our team right now. Could we perhaps get a Snorlax here or a Rayquaza? Let's see. I'm wondering what kind of Pokemon might be here. Oh, that's an interesting Pokemon. Okay, okay. An Amistar. The evolved form of one of the Gen 1 fossil Pokemon. We've already got a really solid team though, so I'm not really too worried. Oh my goodness, a Relicanth! I haven't seen one of those in so long! Man, that's a Gen 3 fish Pokemon. I remember that being involved in some kind of puzzle, or it being like difficult to evolve that. I think that can like potentially evolve into one of two things. Like it could either evolve into Huntail or the other one. Wow, and here's another Gen 3 Pokemon, Voltoid. I'm pretty sure this is a Gen 3 Pokemon. I think I remember seeing this guy in the desert in Gen 3. Now who can we run into in the grass here? Let's see. Snorlax, please be a Snorlax, that'd be amazing. Wow! Okay, that's pretty cool. Flareon, the fire evolved form of Eevee. Funny to see it in a rainy area, that's a bit unexpected. Okay, so Crasher Wake normally has water type Pokemon, as you can probably guess from the gym around here. So let's see what type of Pokemon he's actually gonna be sending up. Is he gonna pull a 500 IQ move and use only ground types? He's expecting people to use electric, so he's just gonna send out a bunch of ground types. Let's see what he's got. Machamp, okay. I didn't expect to face off against a fighting type. It looks like him. It is him, but with two extra arms and bluer. So you know who I think will be a good choice against this? I think Ghosty will be a good choice against this Machamp. But uh, we have got Psychic. It used... That's super effective! This is dangerous. This is a dangerous fight we've got here. How powerful will Psychic be? Pretty strong. Pretty strong. Oh, that was a critical hit. And its special defense went down. Okay, okay. So we might just win this matchup. Let's see. It might be close, though. Use this Crunch again. Do we survive? We don't. Goodbye, Ghosty, you have served us well. I just really hope that we are faster, because if it uses its ice... Okay, it heals. Uh-oh. That's scary. All right, all right. But we get to use an ice beam here, which is nice. Let's see this. Okay, so if we are faster, we might win. If it gets to attack first with its ice move... Okay, good, we get to attack first. Because ice would be double super effective on us. Let's see, I think this might be the final evolved form of Magmar that he's going to be sending out here, so I think Club Penguin might be a good choice here. Let's see, Magmortar. Yeah, that's- yeah, I'm guessing that's the evolved form of Magmar. That's looking pretty tough, okay, let's use a Bubble Beam over here. Eat these bubbles! Okay, more than half damage, that's pretty good. What does it use? Mudshot! Whoa, it comes out of its arm, that's so cool! Okay, our speed fell, so it might get to attack first. It used Rain Dance! Are you a fool? Are you a fool? You are a fire type against a water type, which is super effective against you, which means that my water attacks will be even stronger now. Maybe it's because Crasher Wake really is a water gym leader at heart, and he just wants to see the water type Pokemon really win. He has a soft spot in his heart for water type, so he just had to use Rain Dance here. About to use Skip Loom. Hey there! Hey! That there! That was a good move! You know why he said that was a good move? It's because we used a water type attack against him, that's why he said it was a good move. Oh! That's dangerous! That's very dangerous! Okay, okay, okay. Even though that's double super effective, it only took away about half of our health. And we can take it out in a single hit with Ice Beam. I think our attack is also double super effective. That was a Gen 2 Pokemon that we just took out over there. And there we go. Gym Leader Wake has been defeated. Ha! It's gone, it ended. How will I say this? I want more! I want to battle a lot more! It's because it's raining, that's why he wants to do it. He just loves water type Pokemon. So I don't know what type of Pokemon Fantina is going to have now. Let's see. Okay, she's got three Pokemon, and she sends out Reggie Ice! Okay, that's a great start. Because you know who we're starting with. 
Campfire, let's go! And we've got the new flamethrower, so that should be nice. Same type bonus plus super effective. Let's see how good that'll be on Reggie Ice. Not bad, not bad. Half defeats it. So, so far, we have fought a Reggie Ice and a Reggie Rock. We haven't fought Reggie Steel yet, though. Oh no, my attack fell! Oh wait, but that doesn't matter because... Flame... Oh, its HP is restored from that?! Its HP is restored?! That seems like quite the useful move. Okay. Well, but it doesn't matter. Flamethrower should do the same amount of damage because it's a special attack, not regular attack. They use Strength Sap again. So what, is it going to fully heal up again? Okay, this is a dangerous battle that we are having here. I'm surprised. Maybe we'll burn it eventually. And let's see. Maybe it'll use a different attack. Oh, now it got burned. Okay, that's awesome. Perfect timing. We use Strength Sap again. So I guess we will just keep using Flamethrowers on it. Because it's healing up a bit, but the amount that it's getting healed is getting lower and lower. I wonder if eventually she will use a full restore or a potion on her Pokemon. Let's see, how low will this go? Pretty low, almost defeated. Will it use... Oh! For once it didn't use Strength Sap there. Wait, will the burn defeat it or no? So close! So close, so close, it's almost defeated. Okay, I'll use one more Flamethrower. Okay, and she doesn't heal her Pokemon, so Reggie Ice is now defeated. All right, all right, we've got a very nice campfire Pokemon over here. And I love how Charizard is flying during the battle. He's not just standing there. Oh wait, Corsola, that's a water rock type. So who will be good there? I think Dragon Rook might be a good choice over here. And I'm realizing that Dragon Rook, it kind of sounds a bit like Dragon Rock. Okay, but electric should still affect it because it's water rock, not water ground, so this should be super effective. All right, not bad, a bit more than half defeated. Dazzling Gleam, that's super effective on us, isn't it? Yeah, because very super effective on Dragon. Okay, but Thunderbolt should finish it off. Yeah, because it's at less than half health, so this should finish it off. Goodbye, Corsola. I remember facing Corsola a lot in Pokemon Stadium too. I'm about to use Weepin' Bell. That's an interesting choice. You know what? Let's go back to Campfire then. We'll take Dragonite back and send out Campfire. All right, here's our Charizard. What do you have to say? Oh, heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? Yeah, it's Weepin' Bell, just like James from Team Rocket in the Pokemon anime. Prepare for trouble. Make it double to protect the world from devastation. To unite all worlds with- Oh wait, no, that sounds more like Meowth than Jesse. <laughs> okay, but we have defeated this gym leader, GG. I like how she claps for you. Wonder what kind of Pokemon we might run into the grass here. Oh my goodness, my Tiana, the Volpor of Poochiana. I used one of these in my Gen 3 playthrough. It had the move Howl. And I don't often use stat boosting moves, but I really like its howl ability. Let's see who else will be in here. Wow! A Grottle! Okay, so the evolved form of Turtwig. And you know what? Let's catch one of those, because that might be useful. It can know grass moves and earthquake. I'm probably not going to have it be part of my team right now, right away. But yeah, that could definitely be used in some really cool teams. Let's battle our rival here, because as you try to cross this bridge, your rival wants to take you on before you take on this gym leader. So let's see what our rival sends out. Normally he sends out a Starly or a Staraptor to start. Baneary! That's kind of funny that he's starting off with a Baneary. Got this little innocent Pokemon here, and we're sending out a guard job here. I think Dragon Claw might be an okay choice here. Let's see how this does. Yeah, his Baneary is kind of destroyed by that. Torkoal! <gasps> that is an interesting choice. Hold on, is that a Fire Ground type? I remember this guy from Gen 3. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. It's a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. I thought that it would be a lot bigger. And its evolved form is pretty good too. It can know some pretty good moves if you like Fire moves and Ground moves. Like, Flamethrower and Earthquake are both fantastic moves. Wow! That did so little damage for an attack that's super effective. Well, one more Surf should take it out. 
Yeah, so I taught this Pokemon Surf, and it doesn't know Earthquake right now, so if we learn Earthquake, I don't know if I'd replace Surf or Bite. Because I don't think we have any Pokemon that knows the move Bite. Wow, a Porygon! That's surprising! That's a very unique choice for him to choose, a Porygon. That looks very funny. Gen 1 Pokemon Porygon, and Gen 2 they release Porygon 2, which is kind of funny. Hey, let's do a Dragon Claw, I think that could be a good choice here. Don't know if we'll one-hit KO it or not. Yep, we one-hit KO'd it, very nice. About to send out Sceptile. That is a good Pokemon. That is the final evolved form of the Grass Starter in Gen 3. The final evolved form of Trico. And Sceptile's a really cool Pokemon. Blaziken? And Swampert, the final ball form of the water and fire types in Gen 3 are both also fantastic Pokemon though. Like, all the Gen 3 starters are amazing. I love Gen 3 so much. Gen 3 has to be one of my, not only one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time, but one of my favorite games of all time. Gen 3 was so incredible. I played through Ruby and Sapphire so many times. Starly, he actually does have a Starly. He's just saving it for the end. Well, you know what? Let's let our Dragon Rook, instead of our Dragon Knight, have some action here. We've gotten out of tighter spots than this plenty before! Alright, let's see how good your Starly is. Your first Evolve Form version of the bird Pokémon. Let's see how good it is. Can't even survive a single Thunderbolt that's super effective against it from a Pokémon that's 10 levels higher than it or so. Oh, about six levels higher, actually. It looks like he's going Super Saiyan. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, nice try, bro. You're just a bit better than me, but listen up. Yeah, we're a bit better than him. All right, so this gym leader, this is the father of Rourke, actually, the first gym leader. And this guy normally has Steel-type Pokemon, so let's see what he has now. He's got a shovel. Oh wait, his shovel- oh, his shovel's back! I was gonna say his shovel's gone. His shovel disappeared and now it's back on. His shovel's gone! Where's his shovel? Raikou! Okay, he sends out a legendary Pokemon. That's a little scary. But, we are a part ground-type- wait, no, but I got rid of my ground-type move for this Pokemon. You know who we should send out then? I know who we should send out. Groudon! Our Groudon. That is a ground-type Pokemon, so hopefully it uses an electric-type move on me. Oh, and I made it sunny. Trick Room. Okay, that's an advantage to us. Because now the slower Pokemon goes first, and it's probably faster than me, so that means I probably get to attack- No, it gets to attack first! I'm actually very surprised! I'm very, very surprised. Okay, it uses Sandstorm, so it's not sunny anymore. But we use Earthquake, can we take it out in a single hit? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it, we got it, we got that legendary dog Pokemon taken out in a single move. Raikou's such a cool Pokemon, I remember using it a lot in Pokemon Stadium too. About to use Hitmonlee. You know who might be good against Hitmonlee? Ghosty. And that's mostly because we know Psychic, and because Fighting-type moves won't be able to affect us. Hitmonlee looks really cool, actually. I like how both of our Pokémon are basically the same color. Well, we are both this gray-brownish color. Okay, and we get to go first with Psychic. I don't think we'll defeat it in a single hit, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we're not double super effective, and there's not a huge difference in our levels. It's Earthquake is pretty powerful. Okay, we get hit by the Sandstorm. Does it get hit by the Sandstorm? It also gets hit by the Sandstorm. Okay, so one more Psychic should finish it off now. Let's see. Yeah, and we get to go first with Psychic. Very nice. I wonder if we get to go first because the Trick Room attack is active. Because what that Trick Room attack does is it makes it so that the slower Pokemon goes first. Normally the faster Pokemon goes first. Okay, what is he sending out next? Dugong! I'm worried that it might know, like, Ice Beam or something. If it uses an Ice Beam on our Pokemon, then we are in big trouble because that would be super effect- double super effective against us, actually. Oh, what's this? My last one! This is where we make a stand. Oh, and you know what? And Dugong could also know the attack's rest, which would be a useful move. Stone Edge. Okay, avoided the attack. We attack with Thunderbolt. More than half defeat it. Oh, it has a berry, though, so it heals up. This isn't good. 
I don't know if we'll defeat it with our next Thunderbolt or not. Oh, but it gets hit by the Sandstorm, so we might. Either we will defeat it, or the Sandstorm will defeat it after we attack. Okay, let's see. Oh, the Dimensions return to normal, so we get to attack first now. Thunderbolt doesn't defeat it, though. It uses... Okay, its attack misses. No, the Sandstorm goes away, so it survives, so he might heal his Pokemon. We're not done yet. There's no giving up. Yeah, he might actually heal now. Let's see. He uses a full restore. Hopefully now we paralyze the Dugong now, though. Because earlier, our Thunderbolts didn't paralyze, so it'd be great if we could paralyze it now. Since he just used a full restore. Eh, took out more than half of its health, but didn't paralyze. But we get to use one more Thunderbolt. And there we go. Dugong is defeated. This gym leader is defeated. We get another gym badge. Very nice. Great team we've got over here. Ah, huh, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. Six gym badges down, two to go. Okay, I ran into a bird trainer here. She's got one Pokemon, what will it be? Let's see. Articuno! Okay, okay, this is, I don't know how that Articuno is going to fit into that cage over there that she is holding. But hey, we keep running into just random trainers that have legendary Pokemon. Flamethrower should be a pretty good choice here though. Alright, very nice. And it's only a level 19. Does this person realize how rare their wild Pokemon is? I'm going to peck you for that! A random Pokemon encounter. Wait a minute! Manaphy, isn't this a legendary Pokemon? How did we just run into just a legendary Pokemon? I think this is one of the best Pokemon in the game, isn't it? Let me check. Okay, so yeah, in terms of total stats, this Pokemon is extremely balanced. So I guess we'll just capture it. Let's see how this Pokemon is. I've never used a Manaphy before, so let's see how this one will be. Born on a cold sea floor, it will swim great distances to return to its birthplace. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we could run into in this snowstorm over here. What kind of wild Pokemon will we find out in the snow here? I... Didn't expect to see a Nidorino over here. It's funny that we ran into and captured a Nido King before we saw a Nidorino. We haven't even seen a Nido Ran yet. Anything else? What else can we find here? A Glamio! Of course, there are just Glamios everywhere. You know why there are so many wild Glamios everywhere? It's because Team Galactic released all of their Glamios. Team Galactic used to have a crazy amount of Glamios and now they've released them all. A Blaziken! A Blaziken! A Blaziken! A Blaziken! Oh my god, I love Blaziken so much! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! I really want to capture this guy. Now the question is, do we replace Charizard with Blaziken? And you know what? I think that might be a good idea, because we already have two flying types. Wait, is this Psyduck always here? Quack, quack! <laughs> so, this gym leader normally uses Ice-type Pokémon. So I don't know what to expect here, and she's got four Pokemon, let's see what she sends out. Boizel! Okay. It's like, she took one of Crasher Wake's Pokemon. Okay, and I'm starting off with Mana Free over here. Mana Free instead of Mana Fee. Just to test it out. And I taught some nice moves to Mana Fee over here. So, you know what? These moves are almost the exact same moves that I gave to my Gardevoir in my normal playthrough of this game. Except for Calm Mind. If we had Calm Mind, I think that might be a nice addition. Maybe I could replace one of these moves with Calm Mind. Maybe I could replace Ice Beam with Calm Mind? Weepin' Bell. You know what, I'll keep the current Pokemon. Wait, Weepin' Bell, that's Grass Poison, and another Gym Leader also had a Weepin' Bell. Okay, so should I use Psychic or Ice Beam? Let's try, let's see. Both are 90 power and special attacks, but Ice Beam has a chance at freezing, so I think Ice Beam is the better move to do here. Because if we can't one-hit it, there's a chance that we freeze it, but we do one-hit it, so we don't have to worry about that, which is very nice. Who's next? Deoxys is next! Okay. And I don't know if I have anything particularly strong against it. Maybe Bite is my best move. Is Deoxys a Psychic type? I can't remember. Because I've never really used the Deoxys very regularly, even though Deoxys is incredibly powerful. Let's see. Oh man, Deoxys has amazing stats. Alright, let's try using Bite. Hopefully this works okay. It goes first! 
It uses Ice Punch, that's double super effective, and we're dead in a single hit. Okay, 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 guys, this might be a little dangerous here. This might be slight- okay, I'm definitely not sending out Dragon Rook next. Let's... Let's just try Mana Free, I guess, the Battle of the Legendaries. I'll use Surf since it's same type attack bonus. It's faster. It uses Rock Slide. How much does that hurt? Not too bad. You know what? Mana Free stats like attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, HP. Everything is incredibly balanced. It's basically like Celebi, but Gen 4. Like extremely balanced stats. I'm not sure if not Mewtwo, but just like regular Mew is also like that. A Palkia! They're gonna send out a Palkia! Uh. Okay, I'm going to break the ice and bring out my last resort Pokemon. Okay, yeah, your last resort Pokemon is a Palkia. Oh, man. That's a frightening looking Pokemon. Let's see how good Ice Beam will be on it. Is it Dragon Steel? Or wait, or is it Psychic Steel, maybe? I think it might be Psychic Steel. Oh, that was not effective at all. Okay, it used Giga Drain. That's super effective on me. That's super effective on me. All of his HP comes back. What do I do here? I guess I'll just try using a Surf. Same type attack bonus. Let's see if we can do any nice damage at all with this. How's that? Almost nothing! Palkia's- Oh, that's not very effective. Wait, what type is Palkia even? Okay, Blizzard's definitely destroying me if it hits. Oh yeah, right, not very effective. Okay, but another Pokemon faints. Okay, so Palkia's actually Water Dragon. That's kind of scary. Ice Beam is normally effective against that, I guess. Earthquake's definitely taking me out in a single hit. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't take me out in a single hit. Okay, okay. So let's use an Ice Beam here. How good will that be? Wow, amazing. Yes! Okay, I was about to say, wow, amazing, sarcastically, but we froze it. That's actually so good. Okay, let's use another Ice Beam then. Okay, it's frozen solid. How's this Ice Beam? And let's see, it's Water Dragon. Okay, it's got a berry, so it heals up. It's very, very stationary. Like, it's not moving at all. Really, it's frozen solid in many senses of the word. Okay, let's use another Ice Beam here. I'm worried that it's going to get unfrozen suddenly. And I'm also worried that uh, she might heal her Pokemon. I can sense your will to win, but I promise you I'm not about to lose. You know what? This is the first time that a gym leader is mocking me and they might actually be right. Oh wait, Dragon Rook also knows Ice Beam. Hold on, let's see, whose special attack is stronger? Special attack, 94. Special attack, 94. Both of us have 94 special attacks, so we both should be dealing about the same amount of damage with Ice Beam. Are you still frozen or no? Okay, good, still frozen. So we get another attack on here. Let's see. Almost into the red. Now then. This is very, very risky here. Do I go for a pound and then try to finish it off with an ice beam with my next Pokemon? Or what do I do? I'll go for the ice beam. She uses a full restore. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. Pokey has thought out. Oh no. The legendary water dragon Pokemon is very tough to fight against. Now wait, oh, and I'm out of Ice Beams, too. I don't really have anything good to do here. It used Earthquake, of course. Ah, uh, wait, it doesn't kill me. Wait, is it because we hang on by the... It toughed out so you wouldn't feel sad. Well, thank you, Club Penguin. And you know what I can do? Hold on, yeah, I guess we'll attack with Metal Claw and do almost no damage, because it's not very effective. I'm going to hope that it uses Earthquake again. And that we get a free switch to Dragon Rook. Because if it uses Earthquake again, then this doesn't damage me. So that'd be great if it uses Earthquake again. Please use Earthquake again, please. Yes! Okay, Earthquake doesn't affect me, so we got a free switch. Now we'll use Ice Beam. Okay, and we're faster. That's amazing. But if it uses an Ice-type move, we're in big trouble. Blizzard. And it lands, so we're very likely dead. Yeah, we're dead. Oh, man, dead in a single hit. That's not good. We're almost out of Pokemon. And Blazy has basically no good moves. Groudon has some Thunderbolts. That might be okay. Oh, wait. Your Earthquake might be okay also. Oh, and Drought makes it sunny, so Fire-type attacks are more powerful. But I think Fire would be double not very effective on it. 
Let's try Earthquake. Let's see how this goes. Please don't use Blizzard. How did we go first? How are we faster? I thought we were... Yes! Earthquake! Critical hit! Ground on! Carries us! Let's go! One of the best Pokemon of all time carries us through this match in such a critical moment of the match. We are carried by ground on. Absolutely unbelievable. Let's see what wild Pokemon might be in this grass over here. Well, are there any what? Okay. Wait! Is this a legendary? What will it be? What will it be? What will it be? Are you serious? Are you serious? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. No way. No way. No way. No way. Oh my, I was actually worried that I wasn't recording for a second. That's actually hilarious. I can't believe it. We are going to have the perfect team now. Oh, almost everyone's dead, actually. We have some really epic music playing while we try to capture this Rayquaza. And we have got it. another perfect Pokemon to add to our team. That's probably going to be replacing Dragon Rook, unfortunately for Dragon Rook. All right, what other wild Pokemon are here? All right, Boizel's evolved form. You know what? I think one of the only Pokemon, you know, Metagross or Tyranitar might be pretty cool, but I feel like now I'm getting greedy with asking for all of these Pokemon. We've already got so many amazing Pokemon. Oh my goodness. What an incredible team we have so far. This is actually unbelievable. I never could have thought that we'd get such an amazing team from a Pokemon randomizer. This is actually unbelievable. Like, if we got a Tyranitar or a Snorlax or a Metagross, I don't even know who on my team I would replace first. That's such a tough choice. Maybe Club Penguin or Blazy would be the first to go if we got a Snorlax or a Metagross. What kind of Pokemon's in the grass here? I'm just expecting another legendary or amazing Pokemon because all the Pokemon we've gotten have been great so far. Wow, an actual relatively normal Pokemon, a Staraptor. I wonder what level it is. Is it possible to have a Staraptor at this level? Let's see what level it is. Level 40, okay, so it's actually possible. And you know what, Staraptor is honestly a pretty good Pokemon to have on your team. All right, let's see who else is here. Whoa, hold on, Flygon. Flygon's actually a really good Pokemon. Yeah, Flygon is a ground dragon type, even though it might look like a flying type because it has wings and it's flying. So it's the same type as our Chompy actually, but I think Chompy is a little bit better. Wait, is this another legendary? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my goodness, now we'll get to catch our own Valkia? And you know what? Valkia is a water dragon type, so that might be good too. Wait, Bond, who would I even replace if we do catch a Valkia? Maybe Club Penguin? But we don't want too many dragon types on our team, that's the thing. Because Ice would be double super effective against this guy. Double super effective against this guy. Super effective against this guy. You know what? Let's just try to catch this Palkia. Let's get a team of all legendary Pokemon. I think that could be pretty cool if we had a team that's just all legendary Pokemon. I guess we will replace Club Penguin then. And you know what? It's funny. You know what? Now that we're getting all these legendary Pokemon, you know what I'm thinking? Wait, 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 is it another Palkia or something else? Another Palkia? How? How common are these Palkias? We just keep running into Palkias here. Okay, I already have one. So I know this is going to look a bit weird. I know this is going to look a bit weird. This is going to look a little strange, but I'm going to run away from it because I don't want to fight it. I know that that's very strange, but I'm going to run away. Is it another Palkia or is it something else now? Okay, so, oh, I haven't seen this guy in a little while. This is from Gen 3, Electrite. Hey, what, another Palkia? Yeah, it looks like in this cave, Palkias are extremely common here. You know, this might be a good way to hunt for a shiny Palkia because Palkia is such a common Pokemon on this route here. I've ran away from two Palkias already just because we already have so many. Wait, what is this? The camera was looking a bit different this time. Is this still Palkia or is this something else? Oh! 
Oh, Shaman! This is another legendary Pokemon. I don't know how strong this guy is, though. It's funny. It looks like a little guy. It looks like two little innocent Pokemon. These look like Pokemon that just hatched from eggs. They don't even look like legendary Pokemon. It is time to face the final gym leader, Volkner. Normally, he uses electric types. He starts off with a Finneon, which doesn't look like an electric type. Looks like something that electric types might be strong against, actually. I think... Spatial Rent. You know what? Let's try this. Hopefully we land a hit. Let's see. That looks like a powerful attack. And it defeats it in a single hit. Very nice. Let's see who's coming out next. Snorlax! How do they have so many strong Pokemon? Alright, the battle of the two beasts. I make it sunny, so that means that fire attacks are going to become even stronger. But I'm going to go with an Earthquake, just so we get the same type bonus. Oh, Fake Out! Okay, nice. Cool, you clapped and my ground on flinches. Congratulations. But now I'm going to use Earthquake. Almost defeats it in a single turn. It still survives, though. Uses double hit. Don't expect that to do a lot of damage. Yeah, not a lot of damage at all here. Let's use, uh... Let's use an Ancient Power here. Yeah, I was expecting him to use a full restore there, so I thought, hey, let's use an Ancient Power, because that'll deal a bit of damage, and there's also the possibility of it boosting all of our stats, so that would be nice. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so an Earthquake hopefully will finish it off. Too bad we didn't have our stats boosted, but hopefully that got his HP low enough. Perfect, and there we go, got his HP low enough so that an Earthquake could finish it off. Very nice. About to use Cacturn. You know what? I will keep this Pokemon out just because it's sunny. That looks like some- I know it's a Gen 3 Pokemon, but it looks like something out of an anime. I, I can imagine that being in One Piece. I haven't really watched One Piece, but it almost looks like a One Piece character. Oh no, you know what else it reminds me of? It really reminds me of uh, Zardy's Maze. I'm about to use Spoink. What's with these Gen 3 Pokemon? Spoink is part psychic type. Here it comes! Get ready for my trump card. Okay, let's see how good your trump card is. Wow, that's your trump card. It's a little piggy on a sprig. Uh, I'll use Crunch on it. Let's see how this goes. Oh, how does it get to go first? And that's a double super effective move. Okay, maybe it actually is his trump card after all. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we're just so powerful that we can take out all his Pokemon in a single hit because we've got basically all legendaries. I replaced Shaman, I put Shaman back in the box, and I took Blazy back out. And here we go, the 8th Gym Badge! We got all the Gym Badges! The Pokémon that we have gotten are unbelievable. Okay, we've got a wild battle in the water. It's actually a Pokémon that you could encounter in the water. I'm actually more surprised that it's a Pokémon that fits with the background, instead of it being just like a random legendary Pokemon. Okay, we've got another battle in the water, what is it? An Oddish! Of course there's just an Oddish swimming in the middle of the ocean. That's where I usually find Oddishes. It's not Tentacool that I keep running into when I'm surfing, it's Oddishes. And what else can you run into in the water? An Oddish, yeah, an Oddish has to be one of the most common Pokemon that you run into when you're just trying to surf somewhere. Alright, let's see. Any more wild Pokemon before we face the Elite Four? A Hitmon Top! That's exactly who you'd expect to see dancing around on the water right in front of the Pokemon League. A Hitmon Top right here. Reminds me of one of my favorite mini games from Pokemon Stadium 2. And here we are. The Pokemon League. We finally made it. We've been super, super lucky with the wild Pokemon that are appearing. Alright. Let's just head to the Elite Four now. But first, we have to have our final rival battle over here. He wants to see if he's ready to take on the Elite Four. So let's go against him. He's got six Pokemon. Oh, he starts off with a Kabutops. That's interesting. One of the evolved form of the fossil Pokemon from Gen 1, a water rock type. So we should be able to do pretty well over here. Its water attacks would be super effective against us. But our Earthquake attack should be super effective against it. And we get to go first, which is nice. Oh, it hung on! Oh, probably because it has a Focus Stash, right? Let's see. 
Yeah, because of the focus stash. Sent out a Whalmer. Oh, I kind of wish I had the attack Solar Beam right now. Because Solar Beam would be great here. Okay, now Earthquake or Thunderbolt? You know what? Let's just take out his whole team with Earthquakes. Just because Earthquake is so powerful, Groudon has got such an incredibly high attack stat. Earthquake is such a powerful move, and we have the same type attack bonus. Swablu. Wait a minute. That is a dragon flying type, isn't it? What is the name of the evolved form of Swablu? Swablu is like a little dragon with cotton balls around it. That's basically what it is. See, right, did my, uh, oh, it's a little bird with cotton balls, actually. I think my description fit pretty well. But I think Ice Beam should take it out in a single turn. Let's see. Yeah, that was a pretty good Ice Beam there. Yeah, so he wouldn't have been able to use Earthquake on that Pokemon because that Pokemon was flying. About to use Pillow Swine. You know what, but on Pillow Swine, we can use Earthquakes on it. And Earthquake should be super effective because it's Ice Ground. So I think that ends up being super effective, right? Is it super? Oh, I guess that's normally effective. Well, even though it's normally effective, that's still good enough to take it out. Okay, here's the Kabutops from earlier. We know that it has one HP. So we should be able to just take it out with a Thunderbolt because it's Water Rock, so Thunderbolt should be able to affect it. And it does. We're able to do at least one damage and it's super effective, so that's good enough. We can take it out. Shut up. Wait a minute, that's another bird type Pokemon. You know what? I'll stay out. Let's just test how strong our Thunderbolt is. I just realized, I don't know if I've realized this before, but its head and the thing sticking out above its head makes a music note. It's an eighth note. I can't believe, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. I can't believe it. Granbull. That is an interesting choice. That's a Gen 2 Pokemon. I fully believe in this last one. I have no reason to freak out. Let's see about that. Let's see how strong this Grand Bull will be. I think our Earthquake might be pretty powerful here. Let's see. Bam! Another one defeated in a single hit. Looks like maybe his faith in that was a little misplaced. And we defeated him. What just went down? My team still needs raising? Yeah, looks like you're not ready for the Elite Four. You gotta get more legendary Pokemon. If you get more legendary Pokemon, you might be ready for the Elite Four. All right, now let's go and take on the Elite Four with our absolutely phenomenal team that we have got over here. Here's the first member of the Elite Four, Aaron. Normally uses Bug-type Pokemon, still telling us that he's using Bug-type Pokemon. But let's see what he actually sends out once the battle starts. He sends out... Sentret! Okay, so it's a Pokemon that you can find in a forest. It's not really a bug type. In fact, it isn't a bug type, it's a normal type. So I think I know what we can do. I think an earthquake would be nice here. And I'm guessing we're gonna take it out in a single hit. Yes, as expected. About to send out Tangela. Hold on, is Tangela just grass or is Tangela partially a bug type? Because this guy's almost telling the truth now about how he uses bug types. But you know what? We'll use a flamethrower here. Tangela used Earthquake? What in the world? It's, it's like they pulled an Uno Reverso card on me. I'm the one that's supposed to be using Earthquake on everybody. Okay, let's see if Flamethrower is good enough. Flamethrower is good enough. Okay, it's super effective, plus it's sunny. I always thought when I was a kid, well, I guess at first until I checked, I thought that Groudon would have been a ground fire type. Zatu, you know what? I'm going to keep the current Pokemon. But yeah, once I checked, I found out that he's just a ground type, and that surprised me because I think when you first... Oh my goodness, the way that Zatu is flying... Looks like it breaks several of Newton's laws. It doesn't look like it should be flying like that. Oh, special attack, special defense, and speed row. So Thunderbolt might not take it out. Yeah, even though that's super effective, that doesn't take it out. Uh-oh. We might be in trouble here. It uses Psychic. Okay, and it has boosted special attack. How powerful is that? Pretty powerful. And my special defense goes down, so that's something to worry about over here. But Thunderbolt should take it out. So maybe we're going to be switching Pokemon after this. Let's see. Who's he sending out? Scyther. I kind of want to keep out the same Pokemon, but let's give Blazy a try. 
Let's go blazy! Okay, I think we've got a pretty good matchup over here. Flare Blitz. This will definitely defeat it if we land. Oh, it uses air- oh, and that's even super effective. Wow, that was very powerful. We might defeat ourselves with Flare Blitz. Because this damages the user also, so let's see if we also faint. I, I'm pretty sure that this attack also damages the user. Oh, we just survived that. Okay, we just survived our own attack. And the sunlight faded now. About to use Rosalia. You know what? This is going to be a bit of a risky move, but I'm going to send out Mana Free over here. Because it is partially a grass type, and we are a pure water type. So it might have some attacks that are strong against us, but... Psychic will be super effective against it. So I'll try... Oh, Cross Poison! Wait a minute. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, and that was a critical hit. Okay, how is Psychic going to do? One hit or no? Ah, so close, so close! Is it because it has an item, or did I just happen to do that much damage? Uh, it looks like it actually just survived. Okay, he uses a full restore. It'd be hilarious if we take it out in one hit now, even without a critical hit, because some attacks, they have a bit of a damage range. Let's see if this works. Let's see. Ah, oh, no. Now it has even more HP than last time, but now its special defense went down. So even if he uses a full restore now, we'll still take it. Yeah, he uses a full restore now, but we're still going to take out his Pokemon in a single hit here. I think it's very likely that this will take it out in a single hit now from full HP because its special defense has been lowered. So yes, Roselia fainted. The first member of the Elite Four has been defeated. Goodbye, Elite Four Aaron. I will now concede defeat. Okay, the next member of the Elite Four. This was the toughest trainer in the Elite Four for me in my normal playthrough of the game. Let's see if maybe we can get some revenge on Bertha now. Maybe now with our... Mostly legendary team will do better. She normally uses ground types. Let's see who she starts with. Corfish. Oh, it's this guy! It's this guy! That's such a cool Pokemon. Wait, did Ash catch one of those in the anime? I don't know because I didn't watch that far into the anime. Okay, but that is... I don't know if it's water or water dark. Maybe the evolved form is water dark. Thunderbolt or Earthquake? That is the question now. I honestly think Earthquake might do more damage just because our attack stat is so high. Let's see. Yeah, Earthquake can take it out in a single hit. Earthquake is really powerful. Earthquake is the ace up our sleeve. Except we're not even hiding it. Except we're not even hiding it. We're just opening with it and using it in every turn. Okay, hopefully the Ghastly doesn't have the Levitate ability because some Ghastlies can have the Levitate ability. It has the Levitate ability. Hey, it uses Bulldoze on me now. That does almost no damage, but that decreases my speed. So if someone has the Levitate ability, then Ground-type moves don't attack them. So what should we use? You know what? Flamethrower or Switch? You know what? Let's swap. Let's swap to this Pokemon here. I think this will be a good choice. This is a very balanced Pokemon, so hopefully this works out okay. What will you use? Ice Beam! Okay, that ends up being not very effective because we are a water type. And we could use Psychic here, which will be super effective. I don't know if that'll be strong enough to take it out in a single hit. Let's see. Okay, it is! Very nice! Very nice! Croconaw! I'm going to keep this Pokémon out. Oh! Oh, that's not who I expected! Okay, for some reason I was thinking something else. Yeah, I don't know- I don't know the Gen 2 starters all evolved forms enough. I know the final form is for Alligator, and the first one is Totodile, but I didn't know Croconaw was the name of the second evolved form in, in, in that, in that evolution there. Wait, Head Smash, that looks like it's powerful. Does it take recoil damage? It does take recoil damage. Okay, so that means that a Psychic Attack will probably finish it off now. You know what? This Mana Free that we've got here has really similar moves to my, um, has really similar moves to my Gardevoir in my casual playthrough. Okay, Barboach. I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't remember. What in the world is that? What is that? I don't even know what would be good on it. Wait a minute. This lady, she's using a lot of Water-type Pokemon. She's normally supposed to have Ground-type Pokemon. 
But now she has lots of water type Pokemon. Oh, it used Earthquake. That might kill me. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't even worry because all my stats are so balanced. Okay, let's use Dazzling Gleam here. She used a full restore, of course. We'll use a Dazzling Gleam. A Dazzling Gleam will probably be roughly as effective as Psychic would be. Let's see. Because I think both moves have the same power. Wow, I'm surprised how much weaker that was. Oh, Dazzling Gleam is weaker. I didn't know Dazzling Gleam was weaker. I thought they both had 80 power. Okay, well, Dazzling Gleam should finish it off now anyways. There we go. Is this a Gen 4 Pokemon? I'm pretty sure that's a Gen 4 Pokemon because I don't really remember it. I'm about to use Oddish. I'll keep the current Pokemon. We can use Psychic on it because Oddish... Wait a minute. Oh, you know what's funny? She uses lots of water types, right? But we kept running into Oddish when we were surfing on the water. So it makes sense that she has an Oddish. That's everyone's favorite water type Pokemon, Oddish. Yeah, but Oddish is actually... Oddish is actually a grass poison type. So yeah, oh, and we defeated Bertha, very nice. Easy win, easy win. Bertha went from being the hardest of the Elite Four to the easiest so far. All right, time to take on Flint of the Elite Four. The person in the Elite Four who normally uses fire type Pokemon. Let's see what he's going to bring out in this battle. Will it be fire types? Will it be water types, electric types? Who knows? Totodile! Okay, water types, apparently. Everyone's using water types today. But luckily, when I send out Groudon, he has the drought ability, so it basically activates sunny day, so the power of water moves are weakened. Now, Earthquake or Thunderbolt? Of course, Earthquake! Of course, we're gonna use Earthquake here. Even though Thunderbolt's super effective, Earthquake's still good enough to take out the Totodile in a single turn, which is very nice. Hopefully there are no flying types or no people with levitate and I can just take out his into Ah! I can switch his to a Pidgeotto right away. All right, let's swap over to Mana Free. I would have loved to just take out his entire team with Earthquake, but right away, he's gonna switch to a flying type Pokemon. And Ice Beam will be super effective, so let's use Ice Beam. Don't know if we'll take it out in a single hit. Yeah, we do. All right, not bad, not bad. We've got some pretty good special attack here. I'm wondering what Pokemon Champion Cynthia will have. About to use Baneary. You know what? Let's switch back to Ground On for that. Alright, Ground On is absolutely amazing. Such a powerful Pokemon. And an Earthquake will definitely take out the Baneary. Almost certainly. Unless it has a Focus Stash or something like that. Okay, it doesn't. I almost feel bad taking out that bunny with a single earthquake attack when Groundon is just too powerful. About to use Burmy. I don't remember what that is. What is Burmy? What in the world is that? And what type is it? You know what? Since I don't know what type it is, I'll use Flamethrower on it. I don't know if it's partially a flying type. It's floating there, so I might have the levitate ability. Okay, and that's super effective. Okay, so it's probably at least partially grass type or partially a bug type. His flamethrower took it out in a single hit. Smeargle! Okay, okay, I'm staying. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me, which is like a line straight out of Undertale. That's what it sounds like. Smeargle's a pretty cool Pokemon. I never use Smeargle regularly. Let's use Earthquake. Close combat! That'll do a... Oh! That does much less damage than I thought it would. I guess my defense is probably really high. His defense falls, his special defense falls, so this Earthquake is taking him out no matter what. Smeargle's a pretty cool Gen 2 Pokemon. Oh! Does it have a Focus Stash? Does it? Yeah, hung on with its Focus Stash. That's actually a kind of smart move. Having a having an attack like Close Combat and giving that Pokemon a Focus Stash, because it's quite likely that that Pokemon would be taken out in a single turn. Oh, and he uses a full restore. Okay, so good thing I actually used Earthquake. I was actually kind of tempted to just use a Thunderbolt to take it out, but good thing we're using Earthquake here. But yeah, but yeah, using a Focus Stash on a Pokemon that might get taken out in a single hit that can use an attack that lowers its own defense just to deal a lot of damage might be a pretty good move. And a late for Flint has been defeated. Our team is very, very powerful. Time for the final member of the Elite Four. Normally a Psychic type user, but this might be an easy fight. This might be a hard fight. Let's see what kind of Pokemon he's got. He's got five Pokemon. Elite Four Lucian sends out Gulpin. 
Amazing first choice, partially a poison type. It's not poison flying, is it? I think we've hit it with an earthquake before. Hopefully it doesn't have the levitate ability. Okay, Groundon uses Drought here, his ability, okay. Oh yeah, an earthquake's super effective. So we should be able to take it out in a single hit. Not super worried about this. And, of course, taken out in a single hit. Its lips are kind of funny. Okay, who's next? Swellow, a bird Pokemon. Send out your Swellow. Oh, oh, it's this bird Pokemon. Well, oh, that's the, wait a minute. And that one also looks like it should be moving towards you. It's like it's in a wind tunnel right now. It uses Ice Punch. I don't know if that Pokemon can normally learn Ice Punch. Okay, but we use a Thunderbolt here. And I'm surprised that actually takes it out, okay. It looks like our special attack stat is actually not bad. Okay, grew to level 66. Doing okay here. About to use Shuckle. Shuckle, this will be an ultimate test of Earthquake. Shuckle has extremely high defense and pretty bad stats and everything else. But Earthquake should be super effective. Let's see if our attack is high enough to take it out. Let's see, let's see if we can take it out with an Earthquake or will it survive? Oh, oh wait, no, 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 it's uh, it's Bug Rock, isn't it? I think it's a Bug Rock type, that's why we weren't able to take it. If it was super effective, we probably would have taken it out. But that was just normally effective. But as you can see, Shuckle's got some pretty good defense because we weren't able to take it out with a single Earthquake. We actually had to use two Earthquake attacks. About to use Raticate. We can take on Eradicate. Raticate is actually a Pokemon that I love how this Raticate looks. It's like It just wants to eat something right now. But yeah, this earthquake's obviously gonna take it out in a single hit. Yep, there we go. And Raticate is a Pokemon that I actually used a bit in my Pokemon Blue playthrough. The first time I played the game, I liked it a lot. I named my Raticate Raticaddy. Oh, we took the future sight. Oh no, so much damage. About to use Low Putty. I'm gonna keep the same Pokemon. We can take on this Low Putty, no problem. The evolved form of Baneary. We were able to take out Baneary's in a single hit with Earthquake. So let's see if we can use Earthquake to take out Low Putty in a single hit. Okay, we are faster. How good is this Earthquake? Oh, it survives. It's got some good defense. What does it eat? A berry? Citrus berry, please? Let's see. Yeah, Citrus Berry. Okay, so one more Earthquake should finish it up. Oh, and it uses Trick Room. So that means that it's going to get to attack now, because when Trick Room is active, the slower Pokemon goes first. It used Earthquake! It pulled an Uno Reverso card on me again! Oh man, that's so sneaky when they use Earthquake back on me. But it's a good thing that Groudon's defense is very high, so that Earthquake doesn't deal a lot of damage to me. Even if it's normally effective. All right, Blazy leveled up over here. Got some other Pokemon that are about to level up. Oh, and Manafree leveled up, very nice. We defeated Elite Four Lucien. I see. Now, all that is left is the champion. So here we go. Let's take on champion Cynthia. Let's see how powerful her Pokemon will be. Normally she's got like a Spiritomb, Lucario, Garchomp. She's got all these powerful Pokemon, but... Let's see what she has now that all Pokemon are randomized. And now that we've got an incredible team. So her Pokemon are gonna be about the same level as ours. Let's see, and she's got six of them. I think her strongest is level 66. Tentacool to start off. That is pretty underwhelming. That's a Pokemon you run into a lot when you're using Surf. It is a water poison type. We use Drought, so I'm not even super worried about it using any water type moves. So let's use Earthquake on it, because that'll be super effective. And we get to go first. So I think, yep, one hit KO, as expected. Goodbye, Tentacool. It's funny, it's not even the Evolved form. It's not even Tentacruel, it's just Tentacool. Okay, who does she send out next? Kakuna! <laughs> How did you become champion? How did you become champion? How in the world did you become champion, champion Cynthia? How in the world did you become champion? This flamethrower is gonna wreck you. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're facing off with a Groudon against the Kakuna. And this is the champion fight. Oh, Sviper, okay, okay. That's a pretty cool Pokemon. Is it Poison or Poison Dark? I can't remember. I thought that Sviper was a lot bigger. All right, well, back to the Earthquakes. 
I think one Earthquake should take it out because it's partially a Poison type, so that should be super effective. Very nice. So Viper fainted. Pretty easy fight. So Viper is so much smaller than our book. I thought that Saviper was bigger than our book. I thought Saviper was huge. Hey, oh, she actually has a Lucario. I can't believe it. She actually has a Lucario. We actually have maybe a somewhat, we actually have a maybe somewhat difficult Pokemon to face off against here. Let's try Earthquake. Oh, but we get to go first, so we probably defeat it in a single turn. Yep. This ground on and its earthquake is absolutely unbelievable. It is so OP. This is such an overpowered Pokemon. Chingling, I'm going to keep my Pokemon and I'm not going to use earthquake because I think that is partially a flying type. So I'm going to use a thunderbolt here. I don't know if we'll take it out in a single thunderbolt or not. So let's see, let's stay tuned. Oh, only about half of its health. The first attack it got to use in the entire match. He uses Dragon Pulse. Deals about, what, 57 damage? I didn't see how much that was. Yeah, about 57 damage. Let's use one more Thunderbolt here. And does that finish it off? Goodbye, Chingling. Hold on, does she still have more Pokemon? She didn't send out her level 66 yet, did she? About to use Deoxys. Who do we want to use against Deoxys? Do we want to use Groundon or do we want to switch? You know what, let's switch to Green Snake over here. We've got to give Rayquaza some attention. Because Deoxys is a psychic type, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember the last time. I can't remember the last time I was put in a corner like this. Champion Cynthia sends out Deoxys. And you know what? It makes sense. She's got all these, like, she sends out Kakudas and stuff. She tries to beat people with her Kakudas. But if she's ever really cornered, then she brings out the strongest Pokemon of all that she has. A Deoxys. So let's see how good Crunch will be. Oh, and it's two levels higher than me, so let's see how this will go. It attacks first. Swords Dance. So its attack sharply rises, which is very, very dangerous. It's getting even stronger. How powerful will Crunch be? Let's see. Super effective. And done in a single hit. My attack power is just way too strong. All right, that was a good move. We have defeated Champion Cynthia. Here is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond with all Pokemon randomized, all wild Pokemon randomized, all trainer Pokemon randomized. That was really, really fun. I really enjoyed this mod. This is a fantastically made mod. Enjoyed playing through this very much. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey. This went so much better than I would have ever expected. We have got such an amazing team and so many incredible Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this video. You might like some of my other videos if you like this one. Have an amazing day and take care, everybody.